This slide contains examples of what we call reactive lymphocytes. So when it comes to um, looking at abnormal lymphocytes, first let's talk about normal. Um, so we typically have two types of normal lymphocytes. We have small lymphocytes, which are usually going to be a little bit bigger than a red blood cell. And the nucle nu they tend to be round, and the nucleus tends to be round as well. And the nucleus takes up most of the inside of the cell, so there's very little cytoplasm. And what cytoplasm there is, it's usually kind of this dark purple color. Um, then we have a, larger, a large lymphocyte, which is could be like one and a half to two times as large as a small lymphocyte. Uh, the nucleus tends to be rectangular or rectangle in shape. Um, there's more cytoplasm than in the small uh, lymphocyte and the cytoplasm tends to be a lighter blue color and every once in a while there'll be maybe a couple few granules in the cytoplasm. Now reactive lymphocytes you have to understand in the context of another term called an atypical lymphocyte. So Atypical lymphocyte is a term used to describe lymphocytes that do not look normal. Now, reactive lymphocytes ha take on a special meaning. These are this is usually a type of lymphocyte that is associated with a um, viral process of some sort, um, specifically with uh, mononucleosis, which is varicella zoster virus. Um, mono can also be caused by CMV, cytomegalovirus. Um, but the point being is that what we're going to be looking at here is specifically a reactive lymphocyte. So um, all reactive lymphocytes are atypical lymphocytes, but not all atypical lymphocytes are reactive lymphocytes. Um, so I will be doing or some other uh, slides or videos here with examples of other um, uh, atypical lymphocytes that are not reactive. But let's talk about the neutrophil we have here in the center of the field. This is a both atypical and reactive lymphocyte. And what makes it reactive is uh, reactive lymph lymphocytes generally tend to be a little bit bigger than a normal large lymphocyte. Um, the nucleus can have what look to be like um, nucleoli. Uh, in the in the in the nucleus, um, and typically we think of nucleoli as being in blast cells. Um, so uh, another feature is that the cytoplasm oftentimes in reactive lymphocytes takes the shape of the red blood cells around them, which this one is doing. And then a third feature is that where the cytoplasm is taking the shape of the red cells around it, the, the cytoplasm tends to be a darker purple color. So this is a, a really great example of uh, a reactive lymphocyte.